Hi kids, Miss Laura here with another book reading. Uh, today's book is Jesus Blesses the Children. And I sent you an outline in the mailing. And there's also um, outlines at the church at the resource table. So if you come in on Sunday, you can pick up an outline of the book uh, and some activity pages that go with the book. And also, uh, Sunday is Father's Day. Happy Father's Day. I also have some activity pages uh, for Father's Day as well. So if you stop at the church, uh, you can pick up those as well. And you can do them while they're um, while you're in the service at eight o'clock or ten thirty, or you can take them home with you. Alrighty, uh, and I'm reading a book about my favorite person in the whole wide world today, and in the Bible, and that's Jesus. There are many Bible verses about God sending His Son Jesus to show us how to live, and that's exactly what Jesus did. Jesus was born in Bethlehem. He grew up in Nazareth, and as he went throughout his life, he told everyone about his Father in Heaven and his kingdom. He told us how to love others and how to help others and how to pray. Jesus taught us many good things, and many people who met Jesus knew that he was special, but didn't always do the right thing, even Jesus' friends. What do I mean by that, you ask? <laughs> Let me give you an example out of the Bible. In the book of Matthew 19, chapter 19. Some people brought their children to Jesus so that he could place his hands on them and pray for them. His disciples told the people to stop bothering him. But Jesus said, let the children come to me and don't try to stop them. People who are like these children belong to God's kingdom. After Jesus had placed his hands on the children, he left. And that's Matthew 19, 12 through 15. Jesus was saying to his friends, his disciples, that all people are special to him, even children. And children are much more trusting and hopeful or innocent. Jesus wants us to stay innocent by not doing bad things and to always trust him and to always stay hopeful. And then in the book of Luke, it says that as Jesus was uh, talking with his friends, God spoke from heaven. And let me read that out of my Bible again. And that's in Luke. A voice came from the cloud saying, this is my son who I, am, who I have chosen. Listen to him. And that's Luke 9.35. And so Jesus' friends listened to him. And we are to listen to Jesus too. And we can know what Jesus did and said by reading our Bibles and asking God to help us understand what he wants us to do. Even though you are young right now, you're going to be growing up. And you're growing every day. And as you grow, you will learn to do more and uh, learn more. And just keep reading your Bibles. Keep praying. Keep listening and doing what the Bible says, and you will know how God wants you to live, too. Pretty cool, huh? I love the Bible. I love the Bible. It just, it gives us, uh, it gives us so many good things. It gives us wisdom on how to live, and I'm so glad God gave it to us. Let's read the book. Jesus Blesses the Children. Turn my page. During the time when Jesus preached throughout the Holy Land, people came from far and wide to hear his words firsthand. Some mothers brought young children and as little hands they clutched, hoped that by their master there, young children would be touched. I love rhyming books. And there's Jesus and all the parents bringing their children. But Christ's disciples frowned and said, Now children, go away. The Lord cannot be bothered with young children, not today. They said that as Jesus had no time for children, young and small, because they were not important. They were children, after all. Oh my goodness, they didn't think the children were important. Dear, dear, dear. I think Jesus has a different outtake on that. To his disciples, Jesus said, Do not get in their way. Let the children come to me. I tell you, let them stay. 
Believe me, God loves every child. To God they all belong. If you think differently, my friends, then you are very wrong. That's how Jesus said, thinks about children. He loves children. He loves everybody. Now listen, for I tell the truth, I would not tell you lies. God's kingdom includes everyone of every age and size. And to the grown-ups in the crowd, he said, don't doubt and grumble. God's kingdom will be yours if you have childlike faith so humble. I like this book. I like rhyming books. When Jesus spoke those caring words, the little children stayed and then went to Jesus full of trust. They weren't a bit afraid. When Jesus took them in his arms, he patted them and smiled. Then lovingly, he blessed them as he prayed for each young child. Oh, that's so nice. Jesus loves the little children <laughs> and he loves all of us. What would you say if Jesus came to visit with you? Would you smile and welcome him and say, how do you do? Now, if you really knew he was the Lord to whom you pray, I'm sure you'd thank him for the things he gives you every day. Like sun and rain to make plants grow and loving folks who care. For food and clothes and cuddly pets and friends who say, let's share. Because I'm blessed by Jesus, and this I surely know, he will always love me and protect me as I grow. I love my Lord and Savior. I pray to him each day. And if he came to visit me, these are the things I'd say. Hmm, what would you say to Jesus if he visited you? And you notice that there's blank, there's uh, blank lines here on this page. I sent you a copy of this page. I love my Lord and Savior. I pray to him each day. And if he came to visit me, these are the things I'd say. What would you say to Jesus? You can use this page to write them down and maybe share them with your mom and dad or your friends. What would you say if Jesus came to visit you? Jesus loved everyone and he came here to show us how to live. And so, through reading our Bibles and praying, we get to know how Jesus lived, and he's our role model. So I hope you are reading your Bible every day and praying and talking to people about the Bible and asking questions, and hopefully we can be together soon, and we can talk more about the Bible and all the books that I've been reading, because I really miss you guys a lot. I hope you guys have a great weekend. I'll see you later. Bye.